Hey there, this video is for those on Airtable and wanting an easy way to do an agent portal. This is going to allow you to embed it onto your website. I personally use Wix. That way your uh, team or agents just need to go to tcbyjosie.com slash yht, which is one of my teams, and they will have access to their transactions. Let's dive right in. All right, so this functionality allows us to have it on our website, which one is great because it draws more attention to our websites if our agents are jumping in to view their statuses. Um, and also it gives them a place to see the transaction details. You can have all of those details here, um, contacts, uh, anything like that where they can access it through your website. So um, the first thing you'll wanna do is go over to your uh, Airtable and you're going to want to create a view for that team or agent. So that would probably be uh, having a field that's a drop down for you to select that agent or team. And then once you've created that view, you have everything filtered out to see only their transactions. Once this is done here, you can go to share view. And if you click on embed this view on your website, you can copy this iframe code. And then you'll go over to your website and I use Wix. Um, so I'm just going to, let me see if I can do this. I'm going to create a new page and I will call this one, oh, yeah, I'll just call this one test. Now I'm going to add and I'm going to embed, embed a widget. I'll go ahead and line this up nicely. And then I'm going to write in the code this here. Okay, good. So now we have this where they can scroll. Um, and uh, the only thing that I would point out about this um, is that the mobile app probably won't look very good. Uh, you'll want to update this so that it is stretched out so that they can see at least all of it and the scroll bar at the bottom. I'm sure they'll, they'll be able to swipe with their uh, fingers, um, but at least this will allow them to, if they can't do that in the actual site, they can view. And um, that's the only thing that I thought would be uh, an inconvenience, not being able to see these things clearly on um, their phone. They can, update that here, but now that I think about it, they probably can just scroll through these details, but still they're missing vital information here. Um, even if that does stick, they'll have to make this smaller. So let me see if I can actually change the, the entire size of that. No, I can't change the size. So just some food for thought. And this is, you know, it is an option. Um, but I thought it was really cool that I could do this on my own website. So I hope this was helpful and let me know if there's anything I can do to help with this input. Thanks for joining me. If you find any value in my content, be sure to like and subscribe. It'll get in front of more people and you'll get notifications when I post more videos. If you need any help with software, systems, tools, feel free to go onto my website, www.tcoptimize.com, and I am happy to help any way that I can. I'll see you next time.